Hey guys, it is gonna blow your mind how cute, sweet, and simple today's DIY project is. Go ahead and join me and let's check it out together. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link everything that I've used in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. But for now, let's get started. So to start today's project, I'm gonna take one of these wood cutout bunnies, it's a bigger one, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna paint it white with some Waverly chalk paint, and give it a little time to dry. Hindsight, it's always 20-20, but I think I should have re just removed the rope that's holding it up and put a new one on later, because now we're gonna have to remove it anyways, and it's gonna have white paint on it. The paint job doesn't have to be perfect either, because we are gonna end up covering it up, but I want this base of white. So I changed my mind on the back. Instead of just doing pure white, I'm gonna paint it this high-performance semi-gloss in the color of fuchsia. It's also a Waverly chalk paint, or Waverly paint, my bad but it's not my favorite. I haven't really gotten it to work well for me, so I'm hoping doing it on something like wood rather than that plasticky frame type stuff will work out better. So let's give it a shot. Plus, this will look a lot prettier on the back. The back's not really gonna be seen anyways, but if it is, I'd rather have a pretty color than just plain old white. Let me know in the comments below if you've used this paint and how you like it. Okay guys, so right now at the Dollar Tree, they have a lot of really cool scarfs. This was one of them that I really liked. It has the teal kind of um, aztec design-ish. And it goes, fades into a white, fades back into teal. It's an infinity scarf. There's this one. It is not an infinity star scarf, but it has a lot of different colors on it. I really like that one. It's really springy. And it has cute little tassels at the end. And then here's another really springy one. It has like these blue leafy flowers. It has some green and also some pink has the little tassels at the end also, and it's not an infinity scarf, but it is also really cool and really springy. So for this project, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. It's just, I don't know, it's probably my favorite. And I'm gonna kinda show you why I decided to paint this side white. I wanted these colors to pop a little bit more. So as you can see here, with the white background, it really gives some solidarity, some opaqueness to those colors. If you flip it over, you can kind of see here that it's a thin enough scarf you still see some of the pink through it and it takes away from some of those other colors. And I did make sure before I bought everything that it is the width of the bunny, which it barely meets, but it does meet that. So we're gonna go ahead and do it with this one. And all we need to do is use our bunny, which was a dollar, our scarf, which was a dollar, and our Mod Podge. And you can get Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. What I'm gonna start by doing is just putting a crap ton of Mod Podge on the bunny. Woo! That's definitely too much. All right, so clearly we have way too much Mod Podge on there. However, we're gonna make it work. Take the end of our scarf, and I'm going to lay it on top. I just want to make sure I completely cover it. And then I'm just going to flatten it out. And keep in mind, this is a very thin fabric, so it is going to come through. I just want to get things flat, though, so I'm not concerned because I can always just go wash my hands. Okay. All right. Here we go. I think we got all the bumps out. Bumps, wiggles, and... <laughs> bumps wrinkles okay so now what I'm gonna do just to make sure that everything is sealed and that it gets sealed is put a little bit more Mod Podge on preferably not the entire bottle this time and the Mod Podge should make your material a little bit more stiff so I am gonna go beyond the bunny and that'll make it easier when we go to cut it Remember, I have three kids, so I don't want all the extra fabric hanging off. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it right down here. I'm going to set this up so it can fully dry. Now that the Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to use some scissors and cut around the edges. Once I have most everything cut out, I'm going to use a box cutter just to clean it up a little bit. There's the hole, so I'm just going to take my little screwdriver and I'm just going to kind of circulate it until it pops right through because it's not a very thick fabric and we just need a little hole to be able to put the new hanger on there. 
And here's a look at the final project. I did go ahead and make a ribbon bow, which I added to the ear, and I replaced the twine hanger. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to do another craft next week. Bye bye. Hi guys, I just wanted to say hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Okay, bye.